Welcome back to Fishing with Big Nasty. Today I'm going to a little pond. It's not actually a little pond, it's a big pond. Winthrop Lake. I've never had any luck over here. I don't even know why I'm doing this. I'm just, for some reason, I'm feeling it. I'm gonna see some brim over here, maybe fix and go on the bed or some crappy. Um, or maybe even some bass. So I brought a couple rods with me in a tackle box and uh, I'm going over here in this little neck. There's a guy over here serenading his girlfriend with a guitar and uh, maybe he'll serenade the fish in. So y'all stay tuned and we'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, I'm here up in this neck. Looks pretty good up in here. It looks pretty bassy if you ask me. Um, gonna fish with this little frog if you can see it it's got some uh, feet that spin on it I didn't bring my GoPro with me because everything was still on charge when I left um, so I'm having to do everything with my phone so I'm gonna lay the phone down and let's see what I can do here I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to uh, video most of this but um, anyway a lot of people out here doing different things, disc golf and stuff like that. So y'all stay tuned and I'll set my phone down and see if you can get this on video. There's some guys over here playing disc golf. And um, <clears throat> I'm fairly certain that uh, one of them hits me with a with one of those frisbees that um, I'm probably going to jail. So if um <clears throat> if y'all would, could y'all gather bond money for me to get out? Uh, one of them almost hit me one a minute ago. I looked at him, I'm right beside the pond. There's no reason for them to be doing this, but they're like one right after the other coming in here, so. Y'all stay tuned, y'all might get to see some action. Geese are absolutely going crazy over here. We got uh, geese all out here with babies. And uh, there's one right there. And the bushes have got eggs. So these geese are like all over the place. 
And back over here, we got a whole bunch of them on the ground, like right in there somewhere. <clears throat> they don't like these guys out here with disc golf going on. And uh, one of them about hit me with a with a uh, frisbee a minute ago, so I might get to see a beat down here pretty soon. Maybe. I don't understand. I threw a lot of different things out of my box. I haven't even got a strike yet. I'm seeing fish pop. I know it's fish. Um, looks like smaller fish, brim or crappie. I have caught one crappie out of here and a couple of brim two or three years ago. It's a really good habitat for fish. I mean, you can't say much about that other than it looks fishy, but I throw frogs. I threw beetle spins, I threw minnows, uh, jigs, all kind of stuff. I'm gonna um, put a little uh, crappy jig on here in just a minute. It's actually a, a um, trout magnet. Let's see how that does. But uh, it's not looking too good so far. So this might be a skunk video. The uh, sun's going down getting pretty close to dark so um y'all just hang in there with me just a few more minutes and see what we can do all right i finally drug a bass up out of here um on a cinco worm um he's not too big but it is a fish so um i caught him right over there in that little hole off a cinco worm now, he was a little hungry so I do know there's at least one fish in here, so. All right, Billy Bass, let's get the release. It's taking him a little while to swim off. He fought hard, real hard. So let's try and see if we can do that again. Sorry I didn't get it on video, but like I said before, I'm trying to deal with uh, not having my GoPro, it's hard to hold a phone, so. Y'all stay tuned. Let's see if we can get another one. All right. I'm headed to the house. It's getting late. These geese are starting to get pretty rambunctious. Uh, me and old girl was hanging out over there a minute ago. Old goose sitting on her nest. I was pretty close to her a couple times. She didn't seem to be too upset I was there. So we just kind of hung out and I fished. I walked all along that bank over there. Threw everything I had in the box. I threw whopper ploppers, uh, spro rats, uh, a lot of rubber worms, a lot of crappy jigs, a lot of beetle spins, different types, and managed to catch one bass on a uh, cinco worm. And as luck would have it, it was the only cinco worm I had with me. I only brought one bag with me today. And uh, all my cinco worms are in my other box. So if they were biting cinco worms, it was just a travesty that I lost the first one in the first bath. I didn't actually throw but a couple of times on that uh, fish before he struck the uh, cinco worm. So that must have been what they was wanting. I actually walked down the bank over here a minute ago and I spooked a pretty big bass out of a hole on the bank. So I threw out in front of it and couldn't get anything on him either, so we're going home. We're gonna get all the equipment ready. Tomorrow, I'm going fishing with Jitterbug again. So day two in the books, one fish on the bank. Day one turned out pretty good. Day two, not so good, but it's not a skunk video anyway. Day three, going out with Jitterbug on the boat in North Carolina. He's supposed to be getting off and catching some bait tomorrow and when I get off work I'm going to meet him at the boat landing and we're going out on a night fishing excursion so I hope that goes well he's been catching a lot of good fish up there says he knows where they are and uh, so we're gonna go try to get on them fish so y'all stay tuned for day three and we'll see you in just a little bit